Um, welcome to SEDN 658, Early Literacy Instruction 2, grades K through 2. I am uh, Dr. Susan Shapiro, and I would like to welcome you to the class. And I wanted to give you um, an overview of what we're going to be doing this semester and hopefully answer any questions that you may have before you get a chance to ask them. And I'll also be able to answer questions uh, through Zoom meetings and emails, so please feel free to contact me. So there's a lot of things that we're trying to do in this course. Um, the biggest thing is we're trying to uh, establish an effective early literacy program within your classroom. Uh, we want you to find out all about different types of literacy and how they work and how they're going to be very effective um, working with children within your uh, classroom, how they're going to be able to get children excited about reading, um, the fundamentals of what goes into reading, speaking, listening, and writing, uh, how to figure out what books are going to work and texts are going to work with students and how to really get them interested. Um, we want to talk about different practices that you're going to be using in your classroom. And we're also going to be talking about different types of assessments to really help you understand um, what you need to do in order to get the children in your classroom to understand the different things that you will be teaching them uh, about reading and comprehension and vocabulary. Um, we want to give you some strategies uh, for literacy development. Um, the use of technology is going to be something that we're going to be doing in this classroom. You're going to get a chance to uh, work with different types of technology and hopefully this will be something that you also want to bring into your classroom. Um, find ways to uh, support the families in your classroom so you're not just teaching the children but you're really communicating with your families that are in your classroom um, and, and to understand what the standards are concerning literacy and language and vocabulary development. So that's a lot. We're doing a lot and we have a wonderful textbook, uh, Understanding, Assessing and Teaching Reading, a Diagnostic Approach. And this I found has been very useful in understanding the large amount of information that we're gonna be going over this semester. I've also included quite a bit of um, videos that I help, hope will help supplement some of the things that we have in the textbooks um, because it's a lot of information coming through very quickly in this online format. So I really hope that you take a look at some of those uh, videos as well. Um, each week, you're going to have, uh, you're going to look on the first page and it's gonna tell you what you're gonna be doing the first week. And it's gonna give you uh, an activities folder. When you go into that activities folders, you're gonna to get to see what your assignments are, the readings, uh, the discussion boards, all the different things that you're going to need to do. So play pay close attention to the first page, which will outline it when you click on to the session folder. You're gonna go in, you're get, it's gonna give you an overview. When you go into that activities folder, which is the next one you're gonna click on to, which is probably how you found this one right here, that this lecture, you're gonna have an opportunity to see what you're gonna be doing for that week. So each week you're going to have readings that you're gonna be required to do. Um, each week you'll have a required lecture, which will be done by me, um, and they will be posted weekly. You're gonna have a response activity. Um, responses or activities, sometimes they'll ask you what's going on, um, what you, to discuss what you read. Sometimes they will be discussed doing activities that were related to the reading. Um, so make sure when you do these, that you do them in APA format and really follow the directions. When I'm grading each one of these activities or responses, um, I'm going to be looking to see that you're following the directions. That's going to be the first thing. Um, it's important for you to get in the habit of doing. You're going to need to do it on your ed TPA, and you're going to need to be um, asking your children to do it in the classrooms as well. So you really need to get into the habit of doing that. Um, we also have some quizzes that will be given out uh, just a few times during the semester when there's a lot of information that we, um, I'm trying to get you um, to understand. It's a nice quick way to sort of get a read to assess what people are understanding or not understanding. And just like you, I'm going to be taking those assessments and making any changes that I need to make uh, during the course of the course. So you will see three of those. Um, discussion boards. This is really important with an online class, um, and I really want you to be on top of the discussion boards. This is where we're going to have, be having a lot of different conversations, 
And you really need to be doing it in a timely manner. If you don't do it in a timely manner, what happens is it's no longer a conversation. It's just you posting. So we really want to make sure that we're all posting on time so we can have some good conversations. Now, as well as the weekly assignments, you're going to be having two major assignments. One is the midterm and one is the final. And we've got a little assignment there as well, which is the final video. That's important as well. But the two major assignments are the midterm and the final. And the midterm is going to be administering the um, IRI to children um, who are K through two. So my biggest advice right now is find a child K through two that you can work with. Um, I can't help you with that. You can ask your classmates, you can ask family, you can ask friends. Take a look at what uh, the overview is of the midterm, but I suggest right now, first session, start finding that child. Also make sure that you have access to the IRI administration section in your book. If you have a Kindle, that might be a little bit difficult to do. Um, so you're really gonna need to have access to a paper version or at least to make a copy. If you don't have that, start working on it now because you will need it. Um, and the final is going to build on the midterm. So it's really not something you need to think about now. And the video isn't something you need to think about now, but you do wanna start understanding the, um, the requirements technology of it. So you're going to have a few assignments that's going to be using technology and this is a good time to start testing it out um, because you will need it for your final. So that's a really brief overview of what we're going to be doing this semester. Um, please feel free to reach out with me with any questions or concerns that you have. Um, I am able to meet with people on Zoom meetings if you're not able to come in in person to the 40th Street location. Uh, I do have office hours posted. Um, there's lots of different ways we can communicate with each other. You'll be having some, as I said, some new technology that will be added into the course this semester. And sometimes I'll be giving you a brief survey just to see how the technology is working, if it's easy to work with, if it's difficult to work with. And I would really appreciate your feedback. So I look forward to working with all of you this, this semester, and I hope you learn a lot, and uh, I'll be speaking to you soon. Thanks so much.